Love to my pillow. Team Xander yeah. is destroyed, oh. destroyed by the rays of the sun. All right, let us go over these magic cards really quickly. Yeah. We're doing this live crack a pack. It's M14. We're so do first pick analysis. I was thinking maybe we could uh, just show them. I'll, I'll, I'll hold them up to the uh, driver, driver cam. cam. Yep. And we can talk about them. All right. So. All right. First up, negate. For one in the blue, you can counter a non-target non spell. That's target no non target oh. non-creature spell. Non, but did I say non-counter spell? You said target non counter. Non, yeah, yeah non-creature spell. Boo! We don't like Second. it. All right, boo. Child this, of night. Child of night. A two-one for two that has life link. That's an okay card, but man, whatever. Moving on. I'm exciting. Ooh. Rampaging Bayloth. He is a 4-4 four, four for two and two green. Vanilla, he's super cool. I like this guy. He's, he's my current first pick. He is All right. very beefy in this set. Next up, Lava Axe, which is four and a red for deals five damage to target player. Boo, get it out of here. Maybe if you're in a super aggressive red deck. Next card up is Celestial Flare. It's two, it's white, white. Target player sacrifices an attacking or blocking creature. This is also a pretty good card. I think I'm still choosing the Bayloth over it, though. Yeah, this card definitely needs a little bit of, uh, like, need to be in the right deck for it. Yeah. Advocate of the Beast Ooh. is a 2-3 for 2 and a green. Uh, it has a beginning of your end, or upkeep. End step. End step. End step. Put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on target beast you control. Great card if you have the beast to support it. Overall, like the ramping, like yeah, the Bayloth, for instance. Right, like the Bayloth. But you take the beasts first and take this guy next. Yep, so, so he's not. So he's not a first pick. Ooh, I like this card a lot. Train Condor, he's two and a blue. Flying, two, one. Whenever he attacks, I can give a target creature flying until the end of turn. Target mm -hmm. creature you control. Yeah, target creature I control. Because it knocks off. More importantly, you hammer. can say, yep. Condor Man. Exactly. I, I think people like slightly overrate him. He's good, but he's, he's good. not amazing. He's not amazing. Bayloth's still first pick. Yep. Bayloth's still first pick? Bayloth is still first pick. Right. Blur Sliver, this card's pretty good. Two and a uh, blow red. For two, two, it is Look. a sliver. It's it has a blur haste. Sliver. And it, blur <laughs> sliver. And it gives other slivers you control haste. Good card, still Bayloth over Blur Sliver, I think. Oh, yeah, definitely. So blurry. This is like, sort of a like sliver. a tenth pick. pick yeah. Up. All right, next up. If you need one, you'll get one. Shrivel. Boring. One and a black for all creatures get minus one, minus one until end of turn. That affects your creatures too. Terrible. Uh, pretty bad card. Maybe sideboardable against somebody who is making tokens, I guess. Basically, yeah. Like this card, Molten Birth. One red, red. Put two 1-1 one, one red elemental creatures into play, and then you flip a coin. If you win that flip, Molten Birth goes back to your hands. So you actually, it's pretty cool, but definitely not first pick. Wait, what do you think? How good is it if you like don't don't win any flips on that one? Right. It's one red for two for two one one. It's not bad. Not bad. No, it's not great. Oh, hey, oh, look, we yes. have a new, we have a new winner, Croson Tusker. He is a Colonial. three three. Sorry. Colonial. Oh, Colonial Tusker. Uh, he's a three three for two or for green green, just vanilla. Um, I like this guy a lot. I think I like him. Better he's better than, than rampaging. He's Bayloth. better than the Bayloth. Also a beast. Yeah. All right. So he's first pick. Next Bayloth, up, you're out. Next up looks like the last the comments. That looks like Battle Sliver. Yep. Four and a red for three three sliver creatures you control gain plus two plus zero. Oh. Meh. Whatever. He, he's a, he's so he's beefy. a five three for five. He's beefy. He's good to have. If you're in red, you probably want one. But you want to make you don't. He, he's not going to bring you into red. First. Yeah, for sure. So All no, right. not so much. Next up. No. Yeah. Oh, rip it up. Nobody cares. Terrible card in limited. Why would you ever pick this thing? Amazing and constructed, but that's not what we play. Yeah, exactly. So whatever. And oh, there's a foil. Mark of, Mark, of the Vampire. <laughs> Mark of the Vampire, also very good. I don't think I'd first. I don't think I'd pick it over the. I would not take it over either the Rampaging Veil or, or the, the Tusker. Tusker but I would. But I, it is I like this more than other people do. Yeah, no, that's a good card. Um, oh God, Johnny's asleep. Um, we put him to sleep with Magic Talk. So, Paul, really quickly, I need you to add up the CMC on all those cards. Do I get to rip up the Burning Earth? Dude, dude, we'll make sure you do it on camera. No, Burning Earth is definitely worth a couple bucks. <laughs> Rip it up. Just do it. Right, it. We're not, we're, let's okay, so it. add all the cards up. So, oh, never mind. Four, okay, wait, we have 44. You don't even have to. The oh, chat's okay. already done it. It's 44. Bob the Great and Powerful, I hope that was good. Um, we may, Maybe we'll try to do that again a little later in the run. Um, next, maybe in a couple days, if I see your name again, we'll try to do another one. But Whenever. If you want to donate $44, that'd be super awesome. So Burning Earth is just mana bars, but worse. Johnny is it's falling asleep. I will try and Johnny, like. you need to judge some contest stuff. Johnny, it's 913. Right yep, yeah, it's All time right. to do contests. Yeah. Oh, wait. No. Paul's going Paul's gonna to rip no. this. Oh, yeah. Yay. Awesome. Bye-bye, Burning Earth. 
All right. What a constructed playable.